The competition in the graphics card segment is heated up given how both AMD and Nvidia are coming up with more and more offerings. Intel as a third rival has also joined the game and their ARC lineup is also looking pretty good. While the competition is intense among the RTX 40 and RX 7000 series, how do the ARC series GPUs, specifically the A770, hold up against them? To figure that out, we'll be pitting the RX 7900 XT against the ARC A770 in this video. ARC A770 is a high-end model that belongs to the Intel ARC lineup. It's the most potent car compared to the other ones in the series and can pack enough punch to prove itself a good competitor to the likes of Nvidia and AMD. The price to performance ratio is simply amazing while the design itself resembles minimalism and class. But what really makes this graphics card stand out is the excellent AV1 encoding support which most people admire. As Intel's first entry into the graphics segment, they are doing pretty well with the ARC A770. Going back to the design of this card, it maintains a flat appearance and a reasonable form factor that will fit most PC cases without having any issues. The subtle touch of RGB looks clean, while the four display outputs including DisplayPort 2.0 and HDMI 2.1 ports are pretty solid too. RX 7900 XT on the other hand is AMD's latest offering that competes with Nvidia's RTX 40 series cards. It maintains a reasonable size unlike its Nvidia counterpart. The card requires 2.5 slots to fit and has a length of about 276mm. The triple fan design and gunmetal finish on this GPU look premium yet have a minimal vibe to them. But what really caught our eyes is the dual 8-pin connector that are used to power up this GPU. Unlike Nvidia's 16-pin connector that's catching on fire, RX 7900 XT seems to be in a much safer spot. Other than that, this card has an awesome selection of ports which includes one HDMI 2.1, one USB Type-C and most importantly, two DisplayPort 2.1 ports. With that being said, let us go through the specs of both these cards. Spec-wise, the ARC A770 is fully loaded. With 16GB of GDDR6 VRAM and a 256-bit interface, this is an impressive card. Based on the ACM G10 architecture, it also has 32XC and ray tracing cores that can operate at a boosted clock speed of 2.4GHz. With a PCIe 4.0 interface, this card draws about 225 watts of power and having a 550 watt power supply unit will be more than enough. On the other side of the spectrum, the RX 7900 XT packs 20GB of video GDDR6 memory coupled with 84 ray tracing and compute units. The base frequency starts at 1.5 GHz, with the boosted frequency reaching up to 2.4 GHz. With everything on board, this card has a typical board power of only 300 watts, and AMD recommends having at least a 750 watt power supply. Now, according to Digital Trends testing of the ARC A770, it pulled off about 58 frames per second in Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p ultra settings and about 93 frames per second in Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p Ultra as well, beating even the RTX 3060 Ti on the way, which extracted about 88 FPS in the same in-game design. RX 7900 XT on the other hand is far more powerful compared to its Intel counterpart. This card is 4K ready as AMD showed it to pull off about 60 frames per second in Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K max settings. Needless to say that the RX 7900 XT is superior to the Intel ARC A770 in terms of performance. But when it comes to the price, that's a completely new scenario. The base price of the Intel ARC A770 is about only $349, whereas the RX 7900 XT Founders Edition costs around $899. For the price, the performance of the ARC A770 is admirable. While Intel still needs to work on its software side, its hardware seems to remain on par with the industry standard. So, that was all about the RX 7900 XT versus Intel Arc A770 debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.